Hello, everybody. Yes, I know I must look so wonderful. I haven't yet taken a shower or anything yet today. And it is like, let's see here, what's the temperature? And here is like almost 80 degrees. It's just getting hot. Feeling more like summer. But that's not what I want to talk about. I want to talk about the fact that I just got in the mail a new juicer because I desperately need it because the next couple months probably I'm just going to be juicing, straight juicing and not really eating too much solid food if any at all. Uh, just to help the poor gut and today I'm actually feeling kind of uh, with, with the gut. But anyway, I just got this in the mail and this box was in this box and I opened this box up and there's two other boxes. So I'm going to figure out what exactly is what here, and then I'll get back to you. And we'll see, we'll see more of this juicer. And I'm sorry, juicer that's been with me for a few years. you got to go. Oh well. This is my week. So, so far, opening the second box, I first pull out um, the thing that pushes all the vegetables and fruits down that you're putting into the juicer, and then you have cleaning brushes, which is actually pretty cool. And then next I'm pulling out, um, there is a recipe book, a very nicely detailed recipe book for this juicer. It's got everything from smoothies to cocktails to soups, soups and sauces, wow. Um, so, you just don't use juices, I mean, juices is one of the first things you can use with this, but I guess you can just do a lot more than that, and I mean, look at that, isn't that awesome? So, you can do sauces and marinades, wow, you can just do all sorts of things, you can even do baby food! That's kind of cool. Then you have the instruction manual on how to get this all together, so I'll take a look at that when I get everything else out. Okay, so the first box that I got out here and opened up is the motor part of the juicer, and my goodness, it is heavy, but look at it, nice and shiny. The switches are on, reverse, little fan thing, I think. And then the part with the motor, and of course, uh, the wire and plug and everything, so. so that's what's in this box. Let me open up this box, and I assume that just everything else is in here. So, let's take a look. Okay. Alright, the next things I pull out, I believe these are things that um, probably is what uh, the juice empties into. At least I believe this one, because this one has like actually a nice little uh, measuring uh, measuring in ounces and cups, which is kind of cool. And then this is probably just where the rest of the waste goes that does not, is not juice, it's just the fibrous waste. Let's see what else is in here. And then we have, of course, everything that gets shredded. And I'll just leave that be for now. Let's see what else is in here. A lid. Let's see. A lid. And. Little necklace, a nice little necklace thing. Premium slow juicer smoothie maker. Oh, another language. So, okay. Um, do not pre-operate before inputting materials. Okay. Look at that. How very futuristic. Let's see, there's the spouts. That's cool. That's pretty cool. So, okay, so that's everything. And I'm just going to assemble this all together, and then we will try it out. Okay, so I got the new Hiram juicer set up, and I got my juicing materials right here, and I have my old juicer back here, which I'm probably never going to use again. But uh, just to compare it between the two, when I'm usually juicing with this juicer, uh, it, the juice is very pulpy and a lot of 
um, a lot of the stuff that probably could still be juiced ends up going back here and filling up half this, like this little bowl ends up filling like this whole thing. So I'm really interested to see like the pulp ratio for this one because apparently if I just have this lever right here in this position that hardly any pulp will come out uh, of the juice and it will just come out right here. So it will be interesting to see what happens and I'm also interested in the noise level too because um, in, in the place where we live after certain times in the evening and the morning you can't uh, we're going to operate things that are making too much noise, and this juicer is very, very noisy. Um, but of course, I mean, it's a cheap juicer, so I mean, I expect it's under like around 50, 70 bucks. So, and it's lasted me for about uh, oh, about three years or so. So, <clears throat> so it's just about seen its last days, basically, at least, at least as far as I'm concerned. So, we will try this out. This is my first time putting this thing on, so when I'm is actually going to start with a carrot. And let's see. Not much noise, really. It's a little noisy, but nothing compared to this. Yeah, a little bit. This is really dry. There's like a there's like a nut inside this juicing part. Here, this, this, this shredder part, and it's more like an auger, really, just uh, separating the juice from the, the raw, dry material. And this is really dry, which is awesome. Okay, let's try the juice. 